The motherfuckers turned off the goddamn gas. They turned off the fucking water. They turned off the electricity. They turned everything off. Doesn't matter if the fridge is empty, because there's no money for food. The worst part of it is I have to fucking take a dump in the alley. <laughs> Big Shirl's out in the alley taking another dump. <laughs> Where's my flip cam? <laughs> I can hardly wait to upload this to the internet. I saw that motherfucker next door, the monk, with his little flip cam in the window, taking a fucking little camera video of me, fucking shitting in the alley. <laughs> Another humiliating moment for Big Shirl. <laughs> oh, I hate that bitch. Humiliating me on the internet. Yeah, that's all crazy. That, that's fine and dandy for me, right, Jerry? <laughs> You're goddamn right. As long as you don't take no video of me taking a shit up there. It's a goddamn good thing that we still get the fucking bills and junk mail. What do you think I've been using to wipe myself when I fucking soil the alley, huh? The fucking bills. And the fucking landlord's gonna want his rent, too. Pay the rent. Pay the rent. Pay it. Pay it. Pay the rent. Pay the rent. Pay that rent. We ain't gonna get it. Why don't you just go out and point a few tricks like you usually do? Oh my god, you stink. I stink because there's no fucking water to wash myself. And no matter how fucking drunk a sailor might be, he's gonna smell that BL right away and fucking nix the deal. We gotta do something, Jerry. We gotta do something. Rent, rent, check, check, check. Rent, 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 check, check, check. Oh, I guess you're gonna have to go out and knock over a couple liquor stores or a gas station or just hold somebody up in the alley here. Yeah, uh, that usually works. Yeah, you can make a few bucks doing that, Jerry. Go on. Go get the gun and uh, go rob a fucking grocery store. Yeah, it's a good idea, Shirley, except for one thing. Yeah? What? I, I sold the gun. I hocked it for booze. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Rent, 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 rent. I fucking masturbated with that gun, Jerry. It was the only real man in the house. It's hard, cold steel barrel is the only thing that can satisfy my woman we twat. You son of a bitch! Go out and steal another one now. Well, you cunt sucker, no one will fucking knuckle under you, you little twerp. Well, I guess there's only one thing we can do, Jerry. Yeah, what? We'll have to rent the haunted room. But what? Rent the haunted room up in the attic. No one goes up there. We'll rent it to some unsuspecting stooge. I'm not going up there. Well, someone's gonna have to make the room ready to fucking rent to somebody, so who do you think that is? Hey, Uncle Balls! Uncle Balls! Where the hell is he? Probably fucking masturbating. Get him to get that fucking room ready so we can rent it out and get some fucking money in his house. I heard Mom and Dad yelling about money again. <laughs> that pie's a bum, sis. He never has money. and 
back and we'll wait for him to come in. Go on, Jerry. Go down to the library and do what I told you. I'll get the room ready. Fuck these spooks. I'm not afraid of nobody. I wasn't afraid of you motherfuckers alive. I ain't scared of you dead. I'm renting this room out whether you like it or not. Well, hello. You must be a poo. Come on in. Hello, gorgeous white woman. I am here for much sex. Well, that's exactly what you're gonna get. I'm very horny. I want to stick my penis in your vagina. Well, come a little closer, big boy. See what you're gonna get. Oh, my. It occurs to me. It, you smell very badly. Well, that's because they turned off the water and been having a little financial problem, so... Then it's all right. I like it like that. You smell... You smell... All the better. Oh, the better, big boy. What do you say we... Uh... I like you while you're dirty and unbrushed. That's good. Let's go into the bedroom and you can fuck me. I'm assuming your vagina must be very, very smelly as well. Well, it might be a little crusty. It might have a little trouble getting it in there. It's uh, been a while, you know, since I've washed and it might be stuck together. And the carpet matches the drapes, too, I have, you know. <laughs> I'm beautiful and I'm hot. I want to fuck. I want it good, long, and hard. I want you to bite me. I want you to strangle me and slap me around. Because I like it.
Get the hole ready, Jerry. I ain't going down there to dig no more holes, Shirley. Dig the hole. Dig the fucking hole. There ain't no place left down there. Well, put him in the goddamn wall. I don't care what you do with it, but you're gonna fucking get rid of the body after I fucking bump him off. I don't need no fucking Ebola virus. I'm getting this cocksucker out of here pronto. I'm telling you, that guy is dead and he ain't dead. <laughs> Just because I'm dead doesn't mean you don't have to pay the rent, Mrs. Mahoney. Rent check. Rent check. <laughs> rent check. Ah, son of a bitch. All that work for nothing. Eh, fuck that shit. We'll deal with that later. Right now, let's get rid of this other that fucking zombie. Profit, back. I ain't going down there, Shoyzy. You'll go down there. Oh, you're going down there, I'm telling you that. I'm telling you that, Jerry. You're going down there right now. As for me, I've got business to attend to. So you get off your fucking ass and go do what I told you. I'll be right back. So, Mr. Ebola, how's the room? Do you like everything? Is everything all right up here? Oh, everything seems to be all right so far. Yeah, I'm hoping you're enjoying the place. Let me show you some of my other special amenities. Oh, what do you mean? Well, I know that you've been on a long journey and you're probably kind of lonely. Oh, well, you know, you know what I mean. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Have you ever thought about having your nutsack twisted in the pale moonlight? Well, as a matter of fact, I have, ma'am. Ah, that's nice. You know, to make you feel at home, I think I'm going to give you a Texas testicle twister. Golly, I haven't had one of them since Jeff Davis gave me one in West Africa, just before his whore gave me the holy bola. Well, you're in for a real treat, because no one twists testicles like Big Cheryl. So drop your drawers and let me see what I got to work with. Okie doke. Hey, I thought you said you were from Texas. That looks like a little tiny toothpick. You ain't got nothing. Come over here and let me twist them testes. Yeah, and that's gonna give you the... Come on, I'm 
be absurd. There's no such thing as spooks and zombies. You must have been smoking your candy corn again, Jerry. <laughs> zombies, don't be foolish. Oh, yeah? Well, you'll find out. And when they fucking eat your brain out of your head, don't you come crying to me, dear buddy boy. <laughs> well, what the hell you doing here anyway? You're too old to be trick-or-treating. Are you fucking my wife again, Kong? But, I, I, no, no, so certainly not. Why not? Ain't she good enough for you? <laughs> Anyway, you better got some good fucking dope in that fez he is this time, Kong. I'm waiting for fucking Halloween to come oily. So come on, give me the treats, dear buddy boy. What you got? What you got for the head? <laughs> well, I've got a good lid, and I have some killer LSD. I don't know, I might have some masculine left over, but I think that Timmy stole all of that. I don't know, I'll have to take a look at my fez. <laughs> Somebody say LSD? <laughs> where? Where? Senators and Kong, huh? Well, is that a roll of weed in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Mm? <laughs> break it out, break it out. Let's get stoned. I've been dealing with zombies and spooks all day. I need to unwind a little bit. Don't worry, Big Cheryl. Give me a couple of minutes to roll a couple stogies, and we'll blast our minds. Yeah, good. I need it. I just rolled a fucking drunk. Then I'll fucking shit up his ass, but shit. Took me all afternoon to wash the stink off my hands. And uh, I had to use my own urine to wash myself. Because the motherfuckers downtown turned off the water. Fucking pricks, motherfucking pricks. Well, oh my goodness, I was wondering what that arousing, pungent aroma is, Cheryl. My goodness, it makes me feel so good. Don't change a thing, it's really turning me on. I really love the smell of a woman. <laughs> you sweet thing, you. Well, there's plenty more smell where that came from, I'm telling you that. You better, better control yourself. You know, Jerry's here and he might get in trouble again. He might catch us. Oh, I don't care what Jerry says. Jerry. Now shut up. I fuck who I want, when I want. And Jerry doesn't tell me what to do. I tell that little prick what to do. And if I want to fuck you, Kong, I'll fuck you. And no fucking little bastard's going to stand in my way. Big Cheryl does what Big Cheryl wants and she gets her way. You understand me? Yes, Big Cheryl. Yeah, Charlie. Charlie, this answer is pretty fucking kick-ass, man. I'm tripping my balls off. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> you bet your ass. But I got something to tell you. I want to warn you about some Uncle Balls. Yeah, what's that, Chuck? I don't want to be laying a heavy trip on your balls, but the zombies are coming. The yeah, what? The fucking zombie apocalypse, man. They is rising up from the bottomless pit, and they want to eat you. Man, you are food, man. You are food. I am food. That's right, man. You are food. Zombie food. And they want to eat you, man. I ain't worried about no zombie apocalypse. I have been preparing for such an emergency for many years. I got plenty of food stashed away and water and all kinds of shit. All I'm worried about is nailing that blonde that lives upstairs. <laughs> yeah, well, I happen to know that that kitten, she liked to purr, but she don't like to play, if you know what I mean. Yeah, well, wait till she gets a touch of the old magic charming balls, and then she'll want to play plenty. <laughs> I have yet to meet a woman that could resist my charm. Twister. 
me, Cheryl. Oh, God, please. Let me, let me do you, Cheryl. Come on, baby. I need you bad. Come on, Mama. Give it to me. Please, please, somebody. Give it. Give me, give me, give me, give me. I'll do anything. I'm crying for you. Honey, please, let me have some of that sweet miss. I love you so much. Please, baby, please. Oh, Cheryl. I don't want to fuck you so good. It's going to be hard. It's going to be long, baby. I'm going to do you, baby. Come on. Let me do it long. Let me do it hard. Come on, man. <laughs> sold Jerry a bunch of weed. It's kick-ass stuff, too. That's nice. Uh, well, I guess I'll wish you a happy Halloween before yours goes. Oh, I'm hanging around waiting for Cheryl. She said she had a special Halloween uh, surprise for me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she said we're going to play her version of Twister. Uh-oh. Have you ever had your nutsack twisted off before, Kong? Why, uh, no. Well, you're going to. When she gets close enough to you, she's gonna grab you by the nutsack, and she's gonna twist them off, which will result in your probable death there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and that ain't all. She saves them in a jar. It's true. I keep my jar of nutsacks right here on the shelf. Look. There they are. A whole jar of them. <laughs> and soon there'll be more. So what with there being spooks around the house and zombies out and about, I would take my chances with them before facing Shoyley and her psychotic rages, there. If I was you, I'd get the hell out of here while you still got your nutsack intact, there. No, here she comes now. You'd better head for the hills, there, Kong. I'm getting out of here. Well, I guess maybe I'd better be going. Kong, Kong, where you going, baby? Come here, baby. Well, Kong, you ready to play Twister, baby? Well, I, uh, well, I've got a better idea. Uh, what's that, Cheryl? How about a little Halloween handy? Well, I, uh, yeah, a little Halloween handy. I've got a special way of doing it. So, are you ready for me, Kong? <laughs> Why, uh, your nutsack will make a lovely addition to my collection, Kong, baby. My, my nutsack, my, my, <laughs> no! Oh, I see you do a lot of painting. That's nice. So how are you feeling today? Well, I'm just fine, but the little funny blonde-haired man with the potato head told me that you just murdered people up here. No, that, that's, don't believe that. He's crazy. Don't believe that. No one's been murdered around here. No one gets killed. No, that's silly. What about all the blood stains all over the floor? There was another artist who was here before. That's Pink. Don't listen to the little dwarf. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. No one's been murdered in this house. And why do you have a cleaver in your hand? Why did you come up here? Well, I was just preparing dinner. There's nothing to be upset about. Don't be fighting. I, I do a lot of work with this cleaver. It's a very important tool in my trade. Trade? What are you, what are you talking about? Here, let me show you. Look closely. Wait a minute. You stay back. <laughs> die, die, you fucking... <laughs> I know you're after my worthless husband. You no, husband. I don't care about him. I don't care either. I'm
are you doing back here? I just chopped you up into hamburger. Get the fuck out of here before I murder you again. You can't threaten the dead with death, Shirley. And what's more, I'm never leaving. In fact, I never left. The fuck, I must be on acid or something. That motherfucking goddamn balls probably spiked my booze. I've been haunting this room for the last hundred years. I murdered my uncle up here. In fact, I cut him up with the very cleaver you're holding in your hand now. I'll be damned. This is crazy. I must be having a bad trip. This is fucking nuts. When Big Cheryl kills somebody, they stay dead. What the fuck? I'm gonna get the fuck out of here myself. I've had enough. I'll go down to Mexico with Charlie Manson. Oh, you're not going anywhere. You're staying here with us. Forever and ever and ever. Now, now, now. This is fucking crazy. I, I killed you. I killed all those motherfuckers. No one's getting the best of Big Cheryl. I'm not staying anywhere. Now, I'm just having a bad acid trip, that's all. A little bad shit, that's it. Yeah, a little crazy shit going on in my head. Why did you tear my nutsack off, Shirley? Oh, yes. I want my testes back. Madam, return my testicles at once. This ain't real. I killed you motherfuckers. I killed all those motherfuckers. I'm Big Cheryl.